welcome back to another day off vlog. Today is Sunday the 20th of June and today is my day off. So I have completed my first whole week in my new job and thank you so much to everyone that reached out to me that said good luck last week. I had the best week. I learned so much new stuff. I met so many new people. My manager is literally the nicest person in the world and I'm just living my best life. So many people have reached out to me on Instagram saying I'm absolutely glowing. Like why am I glowing? What skincare am I using? People have asked if I'm pregnant because I'm glowing so much. I'm 100% not pregnant, I'm just gonna point that out. I'm literally glowing because I'm no longer stressed. <laughs> I know! Like my old job I loved so much, I loved the team, I love everything about it but I didn't realise how stressful it was and now I'm just stress free and this is literally me telling you guys out there if you're watching this and you're in a job where you're really stressed it's time to find a new job. Honestly, I am a completely new woman this week. Woman? Women? Woman? don't know what the word is but yeah I'm happy my week went so quick and I'm just loving every minute of it um I have just done an Instagram live while getting ready so if you're not following me over on Instagram make sure you go follow me it's Louise Red 94 because I upload there all the time I'm going to be doing more lives so if you want to interact with me like instantly then that's the place to go to and yeah, I just did an Instagram live to get ready. I'm gonna get dressed. It's so humid today. I'm actually gonna see the temperature. Let's let's look, let's look. Okay, so it's currently 27 degrees, but the humidity is at 65%. Whoo! So it feels like 30 degrees. Oh, the sun's coming out now as well. That's what we're doing. We're gonna get changed. We're gonna head over to Dollarama. The reason I want to go to Dollarama is because I have seen these really cute phone case uh, string, which I'm gonna upload a picture of here, and they're really expensive. So some places sell them for like $10, $15, but I've heard you can buy a kit in Dollarama and make your own and it's less than $4. So I thought, why not get that? There was something else I wanted. Oh. A beauty blender i need a new beauty blender I, i've tried to wash everything out of this and it's disgusting so i need to get another beauty blender and dollarama is literally just two minutes away so we'll go there and get that and if i can't find a beauty blender then we'll go and walmart which is next door and get that so yesterday was also a day off i spent the whole morning cleaning the house and relaxing and then um i was invited to my friend's house for um she was making us a meal so she's from india originally so she made us this whole traditional indian like buffet spread thing and it was amazing but before we went there there was actually a rib festival on yesterday which is on every year and there's normally like 10 trucks you can go in get yourself some food but because of covid they did it in a drive-in sort of form so i'm gonna upload a clip now of when we went through the drive-in because that's where jake got his dinner yesterday so we are just about to go off to the rib fest uh so the rib fest is normally like a huge event in niagara falls where you can walk around to loads of different like um uh, about carts what are they call food trucks but obviously it's covid so there's only two food trucks and you have to drive through but jake really wants to go still so we're gonna go off and do that before i head over to my friends but i'm just gonna go into my wardrobe and show you my outfit of the day um just ignore the mess in the background i haven't had time to properly deep clean i have cleaned just not a deep clean jake just pulling up on the drive now where is he there he is <laughs> so i have got a sheen dress on but the dress is so short that i've made it into a top um is he there oh i thought he was going that i've made it into a top i'm wearing these ralph lauren trousers that i got in the clearance on my last vlog and they were literally like ten dollars and then i'm wearing some puma wedge trainers and then I've got an Ana Luisa bracelet on, a Ana Luisa necklace, and then I've got a Jinx earrings. I will leave a link to all of these uh, down below if I can find them for this, this, my bracelet and my jewellery. I've just curled my hair, put a bit of makeup on, and yeah, I thought I'd go for trainers. I did put heels on and then I thought, hmm, no, I'm not a heels girl anymore. There's Jake. 
Um, I'm not a hills girl anymore. Okay, so it has just started raining coming into Niagara Falls. Um, we were due a thunderstorm. I actually seen some lightning a minute ago. But we're just heading in. Luckily, it's a drive through, so we're not going to get wet. We don't know what to expect. Obviously, I can't eat much because I'm going to my friends for some traditional Indian food, which I'm really excited for. But Jake, on the other hand, what? can order everything. Okay, so we're turning in now. There's Mr. Bib. Oh my god, there's the pig, and it's raining. God. I wonder how long he's been out in that because I know it's very difficult that. Don't ask me how I know, I know. Nah, that's some like cheapo lightweight pig. That's yeah, but still, it's hard. So normally there's like 10 trucks of food, even more. Obviously, I don't know, I've never been to it before. But seen them from previous years. And there's just two. I think it's Billy Bones. It's not cash only, is it? No, you can pay card. I have got cash, but not a lot. Um, there's Billy Bones on one side. Oh, Billy Bones is that restaurant in the falls. And then the other one I think is Smokey Joe's. I don't know. Look at all the trucks in the line. I know, I need a pickup truck. So one's called Camp 31, it's Alabama's finest. And the other one's called World Famous Billy Bones. I think the menus are like a little bit further up. But Jake said if we get to choose, then we're going to choose the left lane, which is Camp 31, Alabama's finest. And I wish you could smell what we could smell right now. It smells insane. So they handed us out a menu halfway. So there's Camp 31 or Billy Bones. Camp 31 is definitely more. So Billy Bones looks like it's more like a family meal sort of thing. It's more combos. Combos, yeah. And then Camp 31 is like single. And it, all of it comes with beans and slaw. So as you could probably see, the pulled pork sandwich there is $15. You can add a tub of mac and cheese for $10. You're going to do that? Nah, it's fine. Jake, there's only a fruit fest once a week. Go on to Mark. Once a year. Once a year. I think I'm going to get the, um, the brisket. The pulled pork sandwich, and I'm going to add on. Oh, the you're pork. not getting the brisket? I had the brisket on. Or do I get a brisket sandwich and add on the pulled pork? What's cheaper? Same price. It smells so good. I also have a menu there. I look at all of the trophies over there, the Billy Bones barbecue. I wonder if I'm that long. Wow. Oh, look at those ribs on there. No, no. Jake? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. We just got home. Jake is just... Uh, I just dropped Jake off basically and so I could take the car to my friend's house uh, and he can enjoy his food while watching TV and chill. So I'm going to leave in just a second but I want to show you the food first. Um, it came, it was quite pricey but it's because we put a big tip on it. Jake gave a 20% tip and it was like $50 or something like that uh, which is expensive but he had two sides and a sandwich but he had four sides in total because it comes with two sides then he ordered another two sides and then he had his main meal so there was um quite a lot of food that he's got for his money so i'm just going to lay it out now to show you okay so i'm just going to show you so jake got the pulled pork sandwich which comes with barbecue beans and coleslaw and then he got a side of mac and cheese and a side of brisket and that is everything he got and oh my god by the way if you like kfc beans from the uk barbecue beans over in canada and i guess america too is insane and i'm gonna just gonna do a taste test of the mac and cheese first i've never really had mac and cheese before it's just pasta brisket this is jake's favorite Mm. I want to try it and then I can go and you can eat. Why are you forking it up for me? Because you, you're not having enough. That's too much. That's enough. Mm. Go away now. So as you can see, it was really fun. I can't wait till COVID's completely over next year, fingers crossed, and we can go to the Rib Festival properly. But 
uh, yeah, Duke really, really enjoyed it. I didn't get anything because obviously I went to my friend's dinner. I'll upload some pictures now of some of the food and like a little clip from my Instagram. But I had such a nice evening. I didn't vlog there because I like to keep my friends like very private. So yeah, but I had the best time. We laughed so much and we were there till I want to say 11 p.m. It was super late that we got back. And yeah, it was just so much fun to actually get out of the house and and socialize with other people other than Jake. So that was great. So I'm gonna get ready now. And I did get a few dresses from Sheen, Sheen, which I'll quickly show you actually. Let's go in the uh, wardrobe and I'll show you the dresses. Now, I have never ordered off of Sheen before. It was so cheap. I got them all for under $10. And then with delivery, it all came to like, I wanna say $35, so it was so cheap. Now, I will give you my verdict on them. So, where are they? So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this picture. And basically it is this dress. It's like a lilac color. Like I said, I think this was like $5. But it is very see-through. Like so see-through. So if I wore it as a dress, I would have to wear like a nude bodycon underneath it or and it's really short as well so that's why i've started to wear it as a top um tucked into some jeans but it's really nice color so many of you said how much you like the color but i'm just gonna say now size up so i got this in a size medium and i'm a size 10 um on the bottom they are a 12 so maybe i should have gone for a large but size up. I wish I got a large or even an extra large so it just goes down a little bit longer because the see-throughness I can deal with. I can wear nude underwear. That's not a problem. It's just how short it is. I don't want to bend over and then everyone see my bum because that that's not cool. That's not sexy. So that was the first one. The second one I got for a reason. Now, um here in ontario they have uh there's strawberry fields and you can go strawberry picking as of last week through to the first week of july and this is something that i really want to do as a child we used to go strawberry picking in cheddar and i absolutely used to love it with my family so i really want to go strawberry picking with jake at some point when we get the same day off so i picked up this dress don't judge me everyone please <laughs> but i picked up this dress because dress because i thought this would be such a cute dress it's exactly the same layout as the lilac one with the bow here um in like the strawberry fields picking strawberries i just thought this would be such a cute little dress and this one isn't see-through but it is still short but i think i can get away with it if i wear little cycle shorts underneath i wish i got it in a large not gonna lie but i'm not gonna be wearing this every day and i also thought here's me think of in the future when I go to Disney for Halloween, I can wear this because Lotso comes out at Halloween. So how cute is this outfit? Wait there. So imagine me in Disney with Lotso with a picture. If you don't know who Lotso is, it's the bear from Toy Story, which smells like strawberries. Um, with this and this, come on now guys. Yep, yeah, I know, it's cute, right? I also got a bikini. Now, the bikinis there are tiny. What I mean with tiny is like the boob area is small and then the pants are small. So size up 100%. Um, but it's like this pattern. So it's this pattern, it's super cute. I absolutely love it so much. And then the underwear is a thong. Um, I wouldn't normally wear a thong bikini. But I thought it'd be quite cute if I went on a little summer holiday. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I've been spending so much money recently. I think it's because I had my vacation money come through from my old job. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to treat myself. But I picked up the other day from Victoria's Secrets these slippers. So these are the comfiest slippers I've ever owned. They're even softer than Ugg. Like when I had my Ugg slippers, these are softer and comfier. These were originally, I want to say $30. And because Victoria's Secret's an outlet, I got it for $7, which is crazy. That's like £3.50. If anyone wants new slippers, holler at me. I can get you a pair. Like so cheap. But 
Let's get ready to go out. It's very hot outside. I think I'm gonna wear my Crocs. I love my Crocs so much. I think I'm gonna go for some jeans. So I have my Ralph Lauren jeans, which so many people comment on in my uh, Instagram photos. They're from The Clearance, I love them so much. So I think I'm gonna wear these with my Crocs. I'll find a top. I'll come back to you when I'm dressed. Okay, I am now dressed. So I'm just wearing a top from New Look. Um, my jeans from Ralph Lauren. Absolutely love them. And my Crocs. Yay, look how cute. Um, some people are probably gonna hate this outfit because of my Crocs. But honestly, they are the comfiest shoes and enduring summer and your feet aren't sweaty. Yes, so I'm just going for this basic look because I'm just going to Dollarama, so I'm not going anywhere fancy. So I am nearly at Dollarama. It is so hot out. I regret wearing jeans, to be honest. But <sighs> nice bit of exercise <laughs> as I don't do much anymore. So I'm just about to turn around the corner and see if there's a lineup for the thrift store. If there's not, I can pop in there as well. Oh, there's three people. I might do it on the way back. I also am thinking on the way back to go into Tim Hortons because, yeah, they have new refresher drinks that are supposed to be like the strawberry kais from Starbucks. And if you know, they are literally my favorite, but they're so expensive. They're like $4 for a larger $6. But these ones are apparently like $2. So on the way back, we'll try them because I'm so thirsty anyway. So it'll be nice to get one. But we're nearly at Dollarama. We're walking up to Dollarama and there's not a lineup. I am so happy about this. I thought there would be a huge lineup, but there's none. So we're gonna go straight in and I'm gonna record on my phone because it's less obvious then. So if the quality's bad, I apologize. my I gotta do this quick so I've got to get out of this jeans and this bra and I'm sweating in places I didn't even know you could sweat it is so hot out there surely it's got hotter since I last checked oh my god I can't breathe yeah it has 32 I'm wearing jeans in 32 degrees okay I got the watermelon and strawberry. There's also a peach one as well. I'm not a massive fan of peach flavoring, but I will give it a try next time. Bargain, $2.49. There was so much ice in this and that shows how hot it is. I literally live two minutes away and all of the ice is gone. That's crazy. And I've got a nice healthy big bag, which I'm gonna show you now. I could have picked up so much more, but we're obviously trying to save to buy this house to do renovations to. So, 
First thing, I've just picked up these because on our barbecue, we want to do like jalapeno peppers and stuff. And you need one of these to pull it on because otherwise it slides through the, the grill. So this was 125 for three, which is absolutely incredible. It's so good. This is for Jake. He's going to be so excited with this. It's a mosquito zapper. So basically every evening Jake gets so frustrated if he can feel like a fly around him and he can spend hours just trying to get rid of all the flies which is impossible in this season because they're just absolutely everywhere. So I got him one of these. I think he will love it. I picked up some mini chocolate bars because I've recently run out. It's $2 for 10 and my favourite is Kit Kat. I need to get those in the fridge before they actually melt. Sorry if you can hear the air conditioning, I had to turn it on. I don't normally turn it on when I'm filming, but I'm so hot I had to, so I apologise for that. And then everything else left is what I needed to get, and I got everything I needed without going to Walmart, so I was so happy. So the first thing is a beauty blender. I do normally get this from makeup stores or something, but I go through them so quickly because I'm not a massive fan of, like, washing and reusing loads and loads because they're just cheap enough to buy so i probably get um especially at the minute when i'm not really using foundation i used foundation today and yesterday for the first time in at least four months i think so i picked up one of these this was two dollars fifty i've used them before they're absolutely fine like this one is really old now so i've moved on to a new one and then i picked up my beads and I'm gonna make these later. So I'm gonna get a nice cold shower and then I'm gonna make some necklaces, some uh, key, uh, a key ring for my phone. So I picked up this one because this had the nicest of colors in, like the purple, the greens, the pinks, the blues. And it also had some letters and it has the wire. But I also did pick up this one because it's got like butterflies in and the pinks and purples and turquoise. Uh, like they're all my favorite colors. And then, these two things I didn't need, but I did really, really love them, so I got them. So the first thing is this pink nail varnish. I haven't painted my nails in years, but when I, use, when I wear flip-flops, I like having my nails painted, and this was $2. And then, going back to my childhood in the 90s, I always used to wear these, and I feel like 90s fashion is definitely coming back in, especially with like the bootleg trouser uh, jeans that I'm wearing and just things like that. These flower butterfly clips. I used to wear these all the time when I was younger, like all the time. If I look underneath my bed at home in England, I have like a hair accessories thing. I probably still have loads of them. But these are 125 and I, do you know what? I just thought you, I'm gonna get them even if I look stupid. They're just so freaking cute. Oh my God. Guys, how cute are they? I literally feel about 10 years old again. But do you know what? I don't care. I'm enjoying this 90s coming back into fashion because I just live for all of this. Oh my God. Yes, Louise. How cute. Oh my God, I love that so much. So yeah, that's everything I got. I spent $26, I think, which isn't too bad at all i could have spent a lot more there's a lot of like barbecue stuff there i don't know i'll keep you up to date i'm just gonna really quickly though take some pictures of what's remaining of my tim hortons on my porch you've probably already seen it on my instagram and and i'll come back to you when i actually know what i'm doing so i not long came out of the shower it was so refreshing and definitely what i needed like honestly i was so hot and I made myself a necklace. So people are buying these on like Sheen for like $4. Or you can buy them like at Urban Outfitters for like $10. But I just made my own from $4 kit on Dollarama. It's so cool. I love it. Um, I actually got the inspiration from Flossie. I'll upload her Instagram here. Like I'm really into her style at the minute. And I just think that looks so cool. I actually did start my uh keychain for my phone chain first which is here um it's just gonna go on the side of my phone like that if you can see um but the letters they gave me honestly i think i need to go back and get another packet like I know it's super cheap, like really, really cheap, but I can't spell Louise, I can't spell Ware, I can't spell Armstrong, I can't spell Jake, I can't spell Canada. They've literally gave me like, 
not the best letters, so I've just put on Instagram, and that's why I made my necklace, because I thought, if I put it on Instagram, I'm dyslexic, so I can't even think off the top of my head what those letters will make. Someone was going to be clever enough to think of a word for me that will go with what I want, and then I can carry on making. But Jake's on his way home early, an hour earlier. I've just painted my nails pink as well. I'm feeling all these colours at the minute. I'm absolutely loving the style and all the bright colours. I'm nearly at the end of the series Dead to Me on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, it's actually really, really good. Um, it's not one of those ones that I sit down and I'm like, I'm like drip, like, grip to. It's one of those ones that I can watch while doing stuff like this. And Jake just texted me saying that he really wants salt and pepper chips. Now, if you're from the UK, you guys probably already know that, um, you guys probably have them, but people that are over here in Canada, over in the UK, especially like around the north, I would say Liverpool, Pristatin, salt and pepper chips and salt and pepper chicken and everything salt and pepper is so popular and it tastes incredible and i got a um a recipe offline last week to make salt and pepper chips now it doesn't taste exactly the same obviously but it does taste so good and then the day after jake wanted it again but we went out of chips we used smiley faces and it tastes so good but yeah i'm having so much fun i love doing like artsy things so i'm feeling all refreshed i'm feeling chilled and yeah, I've just got my necklace on. So I'll show you when I start making the salt pepper chips. So we've not long finished dinner. You could probably hate, hear Jake in the background. He's playing Mario Kart online. So if anyone wants to play Mario Kart with Jake, go hit him up online. Um, but I've just finished it. So thank you to everyone that reached out and was like, told me what to write. Because it had no E, it only had two A's, so I couldn't put Canada. I had no L. Oh my God, it was like the worst pack that I could have probably picked up. I should have looked in the store. But I finally finished it. I absolutely love it. I just kept with the pinks, greens, blues. I didn't put any oranges or yellows or purples because I like the pastel colours against the back of my phone case. And I ended up putting, uh, someone told me to put UK to K, UK to CA, like UK to Canada, but it didn't have an O for the two. So I ended up just doing, I don't even know if you guys will be able to, um, I'll try to get, get it to focus. There you go. CA UK. How cute is that? And I just put it on the side there. That's so cute. And I literally just looked them up online to show Jake what I was trying to make. And they're literally like $15 on Etsy and $22. Can you see? They're so expensive. And I've just made one 
out of a four dollar pack and I can make loads more because I've got loads more string and I made myself a nice necklace Imagine that with my bikini and then some beads. Oh yeah. I'm, I was saying to Jake just then at dinner, like I'm really enjoying the fashion at the minute, the 90s fashion. I'm literally here to live for it. But anyway, I think I am gonna end the vlog now just because tomorrow's Monday, I need to edit, I need to get it up. Um, sorry I didn't do much this day off. I've been working at my new job for a week and Jake was in work while I was off, so it's really hard to do stuff. But we've got some exciting stuff coming. Me and Jake have looked, just looked, haven't booked, just looked at flights to Kelowna, um, which is in BC to go and see Jake's best friend in August, which is really, really soon. So if anybody out there lives in Kelowna and wants to come and say hey to me while I'm there, let me know down in the comments. But we're really excited because we found some quite cheap flights at the beginning of August and that's my birthday. So exciting times our first vacation while in Canada um, tomorrow I have got off again so I'll start a new day off vlog tomorrow but I hope you're all well I hope you're safe and I'll see you on Wednesday with an information video bye